Right there guys, I'm back again. And last time you saw me fishing for carp using bait and freebies, the easy way. This time I'm showing you a different technique with no freebies, just my hook bait, well, hook fly, you could use whatever, stalking carp. You've seen me stalk trout plenty of times and stalking carp can be just as fun. You need very, very good eyesight or good Polaroids because the water clarity is not great on these coarse lakes. I got my eight weight rod, a straight nine foot tippet of 12 pound line tied to a hair rig and a slow sinking wafter on a size eight hook carp wide, wide gate. Simple as that. These are the slow, slow sinking wafters, 40 mil. I'm using red because I'm gonna be dangling it down in front of them in the margins and the red enables me to get a lot more visual because there's no resistance. When you see them open their mouths and take it, that's when you strike. Same as trout fishing, but carp are more wary, less aggressive feeders. So, because I'm gonna be walking around the margins really slow, looking in all the edges, just to drop my uh, wafter down in the water and then hopefully hook some carp. I'm very mobile today. I've got my unhooking mat clipped to me there. And the same as I do for trout, I've got a magnet and I've got my one-handed net so I can fish, net at the same time and I can do it all on the move, never staying in one spot at one time. And that just clips back on the magnet there. This is great fun. Hopefully we have a few fish. I'm sure we will. But can you see that? I look like a nutter, like I'm going on an adventure or an explorer, but this is what works. And this is the most important for today. The, my new glasses from Fortis Eyewear. These are called the Fin Seekers. They've got new vents there to help stop steaming them up. They wrap around the eyes and they're awesome. But that is literally one of the most important things I need. So I'm gonna put these on now. That's better, now I'm ready to fish. Also, this is the way to pick out the big boys and girls. Hopefully we have a nice double at least. They have just spawned, so who knows? But we'll definitely have a go at a few carp and let's have it. There's one there. Oh, he's gonna have it. Yeah, I got him, I got him. He's, I knew he would have that. He was on the feed. I knew he would have that then. Hey, feeding down in the salt. God, this is fun. It really does test your patience though, but it's fun. Ooh, don't like those head shakes. Looks like a better fish. Carp are very competitive feeders. If you can catch them feeding, that's half the battle. There we go. I think this is the biggest one so far today. And again, like I said on the last video, don't let them run everywhere. Try and keep them on a tight leash. But when a carp, once you get his head up like that, they're pretty much yours. Oh. 
lovely. Yeah, lovely, you can see the wafter in his mouth there. That's the biggest one so far today. I'm not gonna bother weighing it because it's not definitely not a PB. But that is a decent double figure carp. Look at that. Get in. So this spot here, got a bit of cover in front of me there. I'm gonna creep in. Real slow. Just let that sink super slow. I'm controlling that there. Got this one there. This one there. He coming back. Oh yes, we got him. There we go. It's another one. Oh. Oh. We saw that be. Oh, there we go. We've done the video. We've given freebies the easy way. This is a lot more fun. Let's go net him over here actually. But I still like doing the freebie, so I probably will have a go with them later. So I'm gonna drag down a bit. They give you absolute stick on the on the fly rod. You see that big red wafter popping out of his chops. Oh look at that rod of Andy Banton. Absolutely bent all the way through. Lovely rod. Come on. that rod wow now I think they've spawned now and I think they're full of energy because last time I come they weren't fighting like this it's bigger than the last one anyway there we go we got him in. We got him in the net. Oh, that's a nice fish. Let's see if we can unhook him by there. Sometimes we can hold him in the water. There we go. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Got a magnet on there. Clip it back on the net and that's that's me. Just walk in real slow. 
and you've got to have good eyes because this is murky water I'm just dipping it down controlling doing it a bit slower because i got a bright red bright red uh, bait on I say bait no freebies but I've got a bright red one on that enables me to see more of what's happening down there there's one there literally trial and error just walk around real slow you see a dark shadow there's one out by there it's a little bit further than where I want to be fishing so I want to see everything and want to be in full control but we'll have plenty more opportunities See if he sees that he's feeding. Oh, a ghosty come for it then. Come on, have it. There we go. There we go. Flash. Oh, no. Is that a ghosty? Oh, I think the line's wrapped around this one. Oh, he's alright. He's alright now. And this one handed net. Put your foot in there. Perfect. So many carp we can pick out today, or at least get a double figure carp, that'd be nice. Come on. Come on. Calm down. Calm down. Come on. There he goes. That fish making those bubbles, is it? What's that? Is that fish making those bubbles? See, see where they... Yeah, I thought you was feeding them. I'm fishing from I am. Yeah. the hook up on that one pressed off on the camera when I wanted it on We got it in the end. Oh, I don't know how many I've had today now. If you can get this technique right, it's more rewarding than off the surface, more visual, definitely more fun. He pulled the rod out of my hand then. There we, we go. We got him in the net. Uh, 
There we are. Another nice carp. Up with that. Come on, leave your head up. There we go. Lovely. Where's he gone? Should we get any interest there? We got him. We got him. Oh yeah, that was good. That was good. This one feels heavier. That was cracking. That was cracking. Oh, it feels like the right lump, this one. I haven't seen him yet. Wow, this one feels good. Oh, I think the ox got him funny there. He's twisted around his fin. That's why it felt bigger than it was. That's a shame, but it happens. It happens. Oh no, he's back in the mouth now. That is a good fish, actually. There we go, he's back in the mouth. Oh, that's a good fish. Hopefully we land this one and have a picture of it. I think that is the biggest of the day. Come on. Oh, that's a lump. That's a proper lump. Oh, God, he's strong. It drags right up there. He is a strong old fish, this one. Bending the eight weight. Is it? It's got to be over 15. Maybe. That's a good size, huh? That's a good one, yeah, sir. Oh, is it a 20 pounder? Uh -oh. Yay! We got him. I'll have to weigh this one. I'm just coming to wreck that. We'll weigh him now. We'll weigh him and have a look, sir. Here we go. New PB. Oh, Twenty-five wow. pound six on this, sir. Exactly right. Twenty-five pound six. There we go. Fabulous. I'll let the water a sec. Yeah. Is that in there? Yeah. Am I in there as well? You are. Oh, there we go. Twenty-five pound six, six ounce. ounce. Let's get her back now. Can you follow me, sir? Yeah. Ready? Oh, the size on here. Hey! <laughs> PB. <laughs> PB coming. Uh, and it, wait right. there, with the camera. <laughs> this fine gentleman by here. What's your name? Brian. Brian, yeah. Confirm it. Good cameraman. 25, six ounces. 25, six ounce. Come on. <laughs> Well guys, what can I say? I am absolutely made up with a new PB carp on the fly. Well, common carps. I'm blown away. And even better is to show you guys a different method of catching carp on the fly. And I haven't even cast a line today. So this is my, uh, this is my carp box. All odds and sods. But these dumbbell wafters I'm using are called Hit and Run by Dynamite Baits. 
that's it then. I like to use these because they give off a bit of a scent. And they're very bright, but that's not to say, and it does work, because I've caught numerous carp doing the same technique. That's just an orange blob you'd use for trout on a still water. I'd probably cut the legs off exactly the same. There's, the only difference is I like the smell. But you, people will say, oh, well, you didn't use a fly, but I, I've caught doing this. It's all, it's each to their own, you know? And then the day is putting fish in the net. But anyway, it only makes sense that I went to the bar and got a beer to celebrate. PB, come on. I'm just, just gonna go out now and have another look around, have a walk around, see if there's anything moving. Catch a few more. Just tied up a new hair rig there. Do a nice, nice tight hair. Cause I wanna be in full contact. And then just literally dropping it down in, in through the water, controlling the speed. This is a slow sink in wafter. It's not just gonna go, but the slower and longer I can keep an eye on this going down, the more chance I'll see what's happening and I'll connect with the fish. Once you can't see this, unless the carp is really confidently feeding and rips the line out of your hands, they're just gonna go suck it in, spit it back out. So always try and keep a visual on your blob, gold dead blob, or your wafter. Because it's all about visual fishing. There's no resistance, there's nothing for the fish to hook itself. It's all about timing. Believe me, I've pulled the, the fly out of plenty of fish's mouth today. It's something you can get used to, but if you can stalk trout, you can definitely stalk a carp. I'm just gonna sit down, enjoy this now, and then round two for an hour or two, and then I'm gonna go home. Thanks for watching again, guys. Really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank <laughs> you.